What's up YouTube? My name is Chris. This is CK Woodworks. Welcome to my shop. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to walk you through how I made this shadow box. Uh, I've made a bunch of shadow boxes before. Finally got around to recording one and throwing it up on YouTube. So uh, stick around, see how I did it. Thanks. So I'm starting with this 10 foot piece of four quarter alder. I rough cut my pieces to length on the miter saw edge joint one side, and then come with on the table saw. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my grooves in them now. I need a groove on the top to accept the plexiglass. I'm also gonna be routing a dado on the back to accept a quarter inch piece of plywood as my backside. I put a quarter inch round over on everything. All right, so I got my regular blade back in my table saw. Now I can proceed to cut out those other pieces. It's gonna be this width between where the bottom panel and the plexiglass are gonna sit. Now comes the part personally that I've been dreading, cutting the miter corners. I suck at miters, but gotta make it work. Few things I did here. One, on all the corners, I took a pencil and I sketched out the way the cut is supposed to go. Two, my miter gauge here was not long enough to cut this piece I need. So I took just a piece of scrap I had laying around, I clamped it to the board, and clamped the stop block out at the end. I cut a quarter inch piece of plywood for the back and attached it to the box. I'll flip this back over and make sure I didn't royally screw anything up on the other side. No, it looks good. <laughs> No screws coming through the other side. All right, so while I was off camera, I cut these down. I got it all loosely dry fit. I like the way it's fitting together. What I think I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and sand everything down now, because I think trying to sand all this in here is gonna be really difficult when this is uh, all glued together. As I'm taking it apart, I mark which corners go back together to save myself some time on reassembly. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this up. Most of the time, when I'm doing a glue up, it's pretty simple and I have an idea of what I'm doing. This time, I don't. I'm going to be making it up as I go. regular old foam board from the craft store. I'll cut that foam down using the table saw. I use a razor knife and a speed square to cut the odd angles. And then I glue it to the board just using regular Elmer's white glue. The blue masking tape is to hold it in place so things don't shift when I put some weight on it. I use a scrap sheet of 3 quarter MDF as a makeshift clamp. After a test fit, I start making adjustments to the foam I glued down and start trimming it down as necessary. I got some blue felt fabric by the yard from the craft store and I cut that down to cover up the foam board. I'll be attaching it with just regular spray adhesive. I very carefully trim off the excess with a razor knife. So last night, I'm rolling on this thing, cutting up this fabric, and my SD card gets full. 
I can't be bothered to go to fix it, so I just keep rolling with it. This is where we are now. You can start to see this thing coming together, start to see what it's gonna look like. Next step, I'm gonna pull this off, clean it up a little bit, and then we're gonna get to work on this part, so. I saved y'all the pain of having to watch me sand that down. Nothing special, I sanded it out. Now comes one of my favorite parts. We're gonna start putting a finish on this. It's where your project really starts to shine. This particular flavor I'm going with here is called honey. It's just gorgeous. I prefer putting it on with a rag instead of a brush just because I feel like you get more control, less waste, goes on more like how you want it. Now I've got a big sheet of plexiglass over on my rack that I got from my local home center that I'm going to cut down to fit this and then attach the back piece to it. put a finish on it. I'm using one of my personal favorites. Just using shellac. Super easy to use. I ended up applying four coats of finish, sanding down a 320 grit in between coats. I placed my flag in the display and reattached the back. All right, this project's finally done. Pretty sure at this point I'm supposed to say something like, oh, this was a fun project, and uh, truth be told, no. No, it was a pain in my ass, and I'm glad it's done, and honestly, I just want it out of my shop. Still got a little bit to do. I don't know if you can tell on the video or not. There's a bunch of dirt that somehow ended up inside there, and I have to clean that out before I give it to the client. Uh, I'll also be taking my flag back. That's my flag. But thanks for sticking with me. If you haven't noticed by now, this is the only video I have so far. Have a little faith, stick with me, and uh, I think we can make this into something. I have at least four more videos planned that I want to do. I can't promise when I'm going to be delivering videos. I have a full-time job. I have a family. I have a life. Woodworking is just a hobby for me. Click the buttons, like, subscribe, whatever. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed it.